I'm Coach Long. I teach video production, and you're watching the CHS Morning Announcement. Good morning, everyone. It is January 25th, and it is a black day. I'm Andrew Barber. Hey, and sitting in for Nick. Coach Long. This chair day. I'm Coach Long. Yes, sir. And we're your hosts of your WCHS Morning Announcements. And the first 2021 blood drive is next week on Wednesday, January 27th. The sign-up is in Miss Fisher's room, so make sure you do that. You can donate some blood. It's for a good cause. Yeah, yeah. The blood, <laughs> donating blood is always for a I've good cause. I've actually never done that. Really? I'm you should do that. It's, it's kind of a life thing. Honest. If you're scared of needles, just don't watch, just man. Just a little bit. Just yeah, come but on. You're right. not, I'll yeah, overcome my fears. You, you have to do that. Media Center, you got to do Yeah. At some point in your life, you're going to overcome. Okay. It's a good thing. Media Center is having a PBS raffle each week for free coffee. Last week's winners are know? Jackie Chan again and Addie Rivera. So congratulations. Jackie Chan is and, back up there. Uh, he's back up there. I Go mean, to the there Media Center. Every single week. Pick up your tokens. Get your free coffee. Remember to enter the, mini, the Media Center's free coffee. Um, giveaway each week for Pretty your chance to win. Do oh, that. Yeah. And congrats to Leslie Chavez for making the District 7 Honor Band. Leslie is one of 10 flutes to make the Honor Band out of dozens who auditioned. And congratulations to you, Leslie. That's awesome. Woohoo! The deadline to submit community service hours, we've mentioned this, it's coming in February. Mm -hmm. um, for the 2020-2021 school year, students submit hours earned from March 1st, 2020 to February 28th, 2021. Community service link for submission is located in the Calhoun City Schools website. Students will select the high school student tab, and under that, just go to the community service tab, and then click on submit community service hours. Be logging those and fill out the Google form as you get closer to February. All submissions for this school year need to be submitted by February 28, 2021. They so have it's about to a month. Be. Had to be. They have be. to be. All authors are encouraged to enter the Young Georgia Authors Writing Contest. Last year, one of our juniors, now a senior, Melanie Matul, wrote an amazing poem called Bridges that won the state competition. We're looking for new winners this year, and there will be a school winner in grades 6 through 12. Entries are due by February 5th, and students can submit their original work to their English teachers or Miss Hall. Make mm -hmm. sure you submit your stuff. There you go. Kind of submit to English teachers. Get it in. Yeah. Senior section, remember to order your cap and gown this month. The fee increase from $65 to $90. Don't be that Don't guy be that person. or that girl that just 25 bucks, just burn it. Yeah. We need to do that. Like, just take a 20 and a 5 and just light it up. Right. Well, fire alarm might go off. Never mind. Let's, we'll we'll <laughs> figure Probably not the best Shredder. we've had. <laughs> Shredder. All right, yeah. Check your email and remind text from Ms. Arnold for further information. Get that done. Yes, and CHS weather. Today's weather is a high of 61 and a low of 47 while being rainy throughout the day. Rainy throughout the day. Not yes. a percentage, just rainy throughout. Yeah, it's supposed to be pretty spotty. There you go. So. In sports, girls basketball team, a pair of victories this weekend. Friday night, the Lady Jackets beat Cartersville, led by Brianna Curtis with 17 points. Lindy Ray Davis with 16 points. And on Saturday, the girls uh, defeated Sonorville. Nice. They were led by Brianna Curtis with 23 points. Ashlyn Brzezowski put in an even dozen. We're going to be back in action at home on Friday against Hiram. Good luck, girls. Yeah, the, the Blessed Trinity game has been canceled. That was on Tuesday. Um, so that's coming up. We're about okay. to tell you what's coming this week and, and that. But the last 30 games, boys and girls have been canceled Tuesday. Boys, congratulations on your win. We don't have any um, announcement stuff about that, but we do know the boys yes. got the big win over the Phoenix on Friday. That's awesome. Or Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. And Monday we have a CHA swim meet at Calhoun High School, so make sure that you show up in support for that. And right. Tuesday, basketball is at home. Basketball was canceled. We, Trinity, we, yeah, we just mentioned that. Canceled. Friday, we got wrestling area duels. Or nice. not, not area, area traditionals, which is totally different. And then basketball is home again against Hiram. Soccer starts their season against Model on Friday. And then CHS debate is going to the Barkley Forum. That's at Emory. Oh, that's nice. On Friday. And on Saturday, we have a CHS cheer competition at Alatoona. And now, over to our FCA guest of the week. Good morning. My name is Jocelyn. And I'm here to share the FCA Word of the Week. The Word of the Week is teamwork. Teamwork is defined as the individual commitment to a group effort. There's a story for you. On August 1st, 2008, a team of mountain climbers began the journey to hike on the world's second largest mountain, known as K2, which is found in Pakistan. After an avalanche, the team was caught in the death zone, where there was not enough oxygen su to survive. One team member only carried half the rope that was needed, and even then they didn't secure the ropes in the best places. Certainly the avalanche was out of the team's control, but the teamwork led to the death of the teams. They didn't have good teamwork. 
and we realize this is a very tragic story, but we want to encourage you to be a good team member. We will leave you with a quote. The strength of the team is each individual's member. The strength of each member is the team, by Phil Jackson. Thank you for listening, and back to our anchors. Well, I mean, if Phil Jackson said it, then you got to listen. If Phil to Jackson it. said it, got to listen. That's a tough place to be trapped. The death zone. That's. That is. You never want. I, I, I'd prefer not to be caught not in the to death be, zone. Not even in the death zone. No, that's oh, it's not a place that I yeah, want to be. Yeah, but good stuff. Thank you. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, today in history, on January 25th, 1905, at the Premier Mine in Pretoria, South Africa, a 3,106 carat diamond is discovered during a routine inspection by the mine's superintendent, weighing 1.33 pounds, and christened the Kalinian. Kalinian? Is Cullinan. that? Kalinian. Okay, it was the largest diamond ever found. I would. It seems pretty. One pound. Yeah. A pound of diamond. That's 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 a, that's a pretty big diamond. I don't even. Yeah. It's got it's, some weight to it. It's like from a movie. You guys got some weight to birthdays. it. Birthdays. Meander about what that might look like. <laughs> Happy it's, birthday to it's the 25th, so Israel here. Gonzalez, yep. Jalen Garo, Dejanique Baker, uh, Jimmy Roblero Bravo, Jennifer Roses Colorado, and Gerardo Flamenco Luna. Happy birthday to you all. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and we hope that you have a marvelous Monday. And as always, go Jackets. Go Jackets.